Okay, lads, when I say stop, you stop boxing. When I say break, take a step back. Keep your hands up, protect yourself at all times. Good luck to you both. Well, it's hard to forget the uh, left hook that snatched Zelfa Barrett victory from the jaws of defeat against Eric Donovan at last year's fight camp. A punch probably only eclipsed by Alexander Povetkin's incredible uppercut that brought the curtain down on the whole event in week three. How will he fare tonight? Virel Simeon, a veteran of professional boxing, in the white trunks trimmed with red. In the final chapter of a long career, 2004 Olympian, European and world bronze medalist, a well school fighter in his day. But Dan, we have to be honest, that day is, is now past now, 39 years of age, and you'd expect Barrett to start as a, as a big favourite in this contest. Yeah, I think so. He was uh, asked some questions last time out, wasn't he? Um, against Martinez, but he's a nice, slick, tidy boxer was so impressive against Eric Donovan. Uh, and you're right, Varel Simeon, uh, Simeon is best days are behind him. Was a very good fighter, good amateur. I remember his brothers really well, Darrell and uh, Marion. I was just speaking to Andy Lee about them as well. He boxed uh, one of them in about 2003, 2004. And I know that you guys were both at the, uh, the World Championships in 03 when, when Simeon was there too. So he goes back a long, long way, right in the twilight of uh, his career. Nice one, two to the body from Barrett there, working the flanks. And Simeon's uh, feet have slowed considerably in the last three or four years. He's a much more static target, but he's quite compact and, yeah. and small up close. And of course, he's really a natural 126 pounder. And they fought at a catch weight tonight of about 138 pounds. So that kind of explains the, the size discrepancy that you're seeing as Barrett just pops the jab out. Slow pace and a patient start from Barrett, just working off Lovely. that jab. Beautiful combination there, Chris. Good variation changing the levels I think body shots for, for Barrett in this contest will be key lovely work oh, there he's you already go. taking a knee Simeon who's hurt to the body as he was against Gary Cully in his last encounter and he's taken an early eight count in this first round just calls from the crowd to Zelfa Barrett to jump on him but just Looks for a couple to the flank. Simeon fires back. Simeon, he'll walk onto one, but again, picking that long, right, rangy shot to the body. Beautiful shot from Barrett. Right, well, he's got considerably more space than he found he had against Kika Martinez at the beginning of this year. It was a rough and tough affair, as I think we knew it would be, but perhaps underestimated Martinez. Still just uh, 33, 34 years of age, miles on the clock, of course, but a heavy-handed man, tough head, and in, in his face all night, wasn't he? And Barrett just couldn't give himself the space to move and work, but he's got plenty of space here, just picks a couple of shots on the turn, covers up as Simeon fires back. Of the uppercut oh, through the lovely. middle, and the left hook to the body, just starting to let the hands go now, Barrett. That's the shot for, for, for Barrett against Simeon, where he's fighting the smaller man. Work the body and come back with the uppercuts. He did it beautifully there. Left of the body, left left uppercut. Beautiful shot. So plenty of action to look forward to tonight. Ray Ford and Reese Bellotti will do battle over 10 rounds after this. And then, of course, our main event, Joshua Boatzi. In big acid test for his career. WBA world title eliminator at 175 against the excellent Ricard Bolotniks, who so brilliant in that golden contract, dominant over Stephen Ward, bullied Jose Burton, and then was a one-sided affair against a very well-schooled Serge Michel as well in the final. Not a man to be overlooked for Joshua Boatzi, and after a many years and a top amateur record, we find out how good he is as a, as a professional tonight. Uh, absolutely. Um, but back to this one. Zelfa Barrett looking very, very calm, relaxed. Got into his stride nice and early. And when he's got a nice little bounce in his boxing, he's a joy to watch. Now his last significant win, Simeon was uh, over Andoni Gargo, the current European champion, but that was all the way back in 2016. He was solid that night, busy with a jab, dropped into range off the line, but as I say, Darren, in his late 30s now, the legs have just slowed and sometimes the, the mind can see things, the body just can't carry out 
and that's what it looks like here mm. because we know he was a, a good boxer Definitely. in his day. Really good fighter, and uh, you can see there's still ambition there, but like you say, he just uh, he's fallen over his uh, front foot because the hand speed is just quicker than the feet, struggling to bring them in in time. Still tough, still game, but like I say, for Barrett, the, the body shots will be key in this contest. While you were talking, he did look for a catch and counter left hook off the ropes. That was what he got Eric Donovan with this time last year. I think a sigh of relief from the, the Barrett camp because Donovan was in the flow in that contest and needed something dramatic to, to turn the tide. And, well, he found it and put a real exclamation mark on what was a brilliant three weeks of action. It's flown by here. Interesting. You just see Barrett squinting there. Behind us, the sun is uh, beaming. Must be difficult when you're... You're facing it to keep focused on your opponent. Something you never normally have to think about no, or contend with. Not in England. <laughs> <laughs> nice work to the body again there. Simeon just walked on to an uppercut through the middle again. Just Barrett looking for that left-hand counter, but the hand position of the Romanian was good. Just arcs the right hand round the guard, looks for the left hook again, but compact and defensively tight. Simeon just trying to apply a little bit of front foot pressure, but to get from long to mid range, proving rather more difficult for him. Barrett up on his toes, just thumps the jab through the middle of the guard. Puts Good the work. hands together now. He's enjoying himself, Barrett, moving well, picking the shots well, putting them together. He won't mind going a few rounds here. Just covers up. Just takes the right hand on the on the gloves. A little bit of grazing on the, the forehead of Barrett. Might have been called from my overhand right from Simeon. He's ranked top five by the IBF, Zelfa Barrett, and Joe Caldina, who we'll see a little bit later on tonight, is uh, sitting, I think, in sixth or, or seventh place. Murmurs this week that maybe that could be made as some sort of first eliminator for the world title, which is currently vacant at, uh, at 1.30. Well, Uncle Pat in the corner, they've had a difficult year. Zelfa losing his mum. And, uh, well, I saw the interview with him on Match and Boxing's YouTube channel earlier on this week. He said he didn't want to sit around. That's not what she would have wanted. He had to keep active, keep busy. And credit to him for, for getting back out here under difficult circumstances. He will take, face many tougher opponents than this, Darren. Yeah. But I think this is about something a little bit more kind of symbolic for him this Definitely. evening. Absolutely. Uh, real driving force. Has real motivation to to succeed and make his mum, who will be extremely proud already. Very tough for the young man. Boxing well. You mentioned the light in their eyes, Darren. Hard to underestimate the heat. I mean, it's hitting our backs here, and uh, they will be feeling that in the ring. That's because you're used to the, the lights of, of the arenas, but this is uh, this is baking sunshine. So it different really to what we is. had last week. Simeon just comes in off the double jab. And Barrett's just got the look of someone down. just trying to get a few rounds in here, just shake off a little bit of uh, rust as such, but just go through the motions because yeah. Simeon hasn't got the quickest of feet. He's not putting him under a huge amount of pressure. You feel Barrett could go up a gear here, but he's almost choosing not to. Yeah. Uh, I think either later on in this round or, or the next couple coming, I think he'll really put his foot down. He's enjoying this, though, picking his shots well, enjoying getting a bit of ring time. They're lovely body shots, nice and ranging, round the elbow. But again, Simeon, brave game coming forward, but walking onto shots. Onto that check left hook again, yeah. as we saw, but he takes it pretty well again just looking for an entry point Barrett just popping the jab out letting him know I'm not going to let you in that easily he just circles around him on the outside of the ring off the jab again leads to the right hand to the body that time I think the second phase will work for Barrett Simmons always looking to come back with a counter so Barrett throw his shot miss come back 
Low on the oh, low, low left. Sinks the, uh, the left kick in. I think it was a little bit low from the looks of Simeon's reaction. I think they both know there was nothing uh, intended by that. So back they go to it. Combination for Barrett, but we knew that Simeon was always going to be a compact target up close. He needs to try and do something else to unlock him here. Now he will be feeling these shots, Simeon, of course. Yeah, variation uh, up and down with the shots, changing the levels will be key against Simeon. Definitely the body shots are, are the ones that are going to slow him down and stop him in his track, but you've got to set the trap. You've got to touch to the head and drop to the body. Can't be too predictable with your work. That's a better jab to the body, jab to the head. Keep your opponent thinking all the time. Good work. This is better stuff from Barrett. Done nothing wrong, but going through the gears now, looking spiteful. Good variation like I've been asking for. Vicious shots to the body. Nice jab, he's been up and down with it. And of course, they are family in that gym. Lyndon Arthur there too, who's uh, preparing for that rematch with Andy Anthony Yard, who you know, kind of beat one-handed when they last met. With that injury to, I think, the shoulder. They're all flying in uh, in that gym. And well, Arthur is sitting well with the, the WBO too, which, of course, is held by Joe Smith Jr. And we'll be talking about Joshua Boatsy's title ambitions later on, if he's victorious. Good domestic light heavyweight scene. A lovely breeze coming in taking the edge through, rings, <laughs> through ringside here. <laughs> I think that would be welcomed <laughs> by the fighters. Yeah, I think Barrett will, uh, will count himself in, in some ways a little fortunate to be in the position that he's in. He knows that that left hook was a kind of get, get out of jail. Mm -hmm punch last year's fight camp he was in the fight don't get me wrong but he was he was behind on the cards he knows he was and, and the clock was was ticking away and then of course against Kiko Martinez consensus was that he didn't win the fight he he says he still believes that he did he wants to put punctuation on that and, and maybe rerun the contest but of course you know if, if rumors are that Joe Caldina fight is on the horizon then perhaps they will just move on from that altogether and look for for bigger opportunities but you know as we saw with Reese Bellotti he was We'll see up next, a little bit unlucky against Francesco Grandelli in his last contest. Sometimes just a couple of runs, a couple of fights can not go your way and suddenly your record changes and your opportunities change. But as, as it is, he's 25 and 1 Barrett in a very, very good position. And he knows things could be very, very different in the last 12 months. Good work there, good, good combination. It was lovely, wasn't it? And Simeon trying to fire with him now. Credit to Simeon. Still there, still trying. That was a lovely left to the body. That was a good shot. That wasn't low. That didn't look illegal to me, Chris. And he turned away and his body language suggested he felt that it was. There may have been one before that I missed, but the actual last left didn't look low to me. You know, you talk about those fights uh, with Donovan and Martinez, they're good body work. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be, if I was Barrett, too negative about that. You know, he, he learned a lot in those fight and, uh, fights and that will be valuable for his progression as a professional. Good jab. Got to be careful, does bring it back to his chest. So he's open to the right hand if he was to pour the jab out. Good uppercut. Just getting caught a little bit tall there, wasn't he, Barrett? Yeah. So needs to bring his feet out. Yeah, just the feet getting a little slow, and sometimes you can be guilty of that when you're in with an opponent who's a little slower than you, can almost just drop to, to their, their speed and their timing, and he just has got in that kind of slow rhythm. This is where he wants to be, holding the centre of the ring, doing all of his work from here, then he can take the little step back, make Varel short, fall short, and uh, land the counters. 
Good. Clubbing right hand around the side of the guard of Simeon. Starting to sit down in his shots a bit more now, Chris Barrett. And then, around the side of the guard, Simeon just backed up into that corner. Oh, yeah, good left hook. Catches him with a left hook, and Simeon's felt that. Just had to tuck up on the ropes here, and Barrett knows that he, he's just had a mini breakthrough. Up to cut through the middle, left hook to the body, Simeon fires back. Now Barrett finds himself just backed up into the corner. Intelligent footwork from Barrett there. He was backed up in the corner, he just spun his, uh, his opponent. Very subtle move, and now he has Simeon on the back foot on the ropes. Well, as was the case in the Gary Cully fight, the corner in between rounds had seen enough. I think it was kind of one-way traffic. Zelf about really in second, not even third gear, Darren, I think was well in control. Just looking at a man in Viral Simeon, who was an excellent fighter in his day, but age has caught up with him, as Father Time always does with boxers. And we don't really, if we're being honest, want to see him in the ring for, for too much longer. But uh, Zelfa Barrett in uh, in full control there. Yeah, he was, and bo uh, boxed really, really well. Uh, I go back to Simeon, yeah, he's a, he's a winner. He's a game fighter, and uh, he doesn't have the mentality of a journeyman. So though he could pose some questions uh, for young fighters coming through, he's not that man, and he will just end up taking some, some punishment from younger, fresher fighters. But impressed with Barrett there. You know, he took his time uh, in the previous round there. He really got down to work. Good variation, like I was calling for. The uppercuts, the body shots, spiteful right hooks around the side of the guard. Uh, good performance. And, you know, I asked Eddie Hearn the question at the presser, should we look into anything with Joe Cordina and Barrett on the bill? And he said, look, it's a fight I'd love to make. So, fingers crossed that one can be made if Joe Cordina comes through a tough fight today for, for some sort of eliminator for, for a major title, Chris. OK, well, the first of... Uh our contest tonight in the books. Let's head over to David Diamante for the official result. Ladies and gentlemen, the red corner retires at the end of round number five. Your winner by retirement from Manchester, England, Zelfa Brown Flash Barrett.